Hi everyone, I'm Josh and this is Josh Wright Piano TV. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm going to dedicate this video to one of my private students, Adi, who had a question about the third list Liebestrom. Uh, this piece. Just one of lists great masterpieces in my mind. I love this piece so much. And we've done an entire pro practice video on this. And we address this uh, second cadenza in the pro practice video, but I have an additional little tip that I gave to Adi that I wanted to share with each of you today. Um, he was working on this little cadenza. And he was having trouble getting those together and even. And he was just, it was almost like spasming when he was playing it, like that. So we talked in that lesson about not isolating the fingers. Um, what I meant by that is obviously these are rocking back and forth. And whenever we have groupings, so for instance, the fingering that I use is 4231, 4231, 4 2 It's really easy to get locked into those positions and then cut off your weight source. Um, a lot of people might come down like this. Okay, and what you're doing is you're isolating those fingers. You're no longer allowing the arm to kind of rotate in a natural way. So rotating to left, to the right, to left, right. So I just told Adi in the lesson to over rotate like this. And to continue to feel it all the way up the arm. And if you ever feel like things are getting too tight, it's probably due to the fact that you're cutting off that weight source again and you're trying to just do it in the fingers and it might crumble like that. So continuing to do that in the left hand as well. So you can do this in fast speeds and, and then and that really seemed to help him. I saw him a few days later and he's like, oh my goodness, this is actually like curing the issue. Just continuing to think of connecting into the bigger muscles of the arm. And that doesn't mean, when, when I say big muscle, you might think, oh gosh, I'm really gonna play loud. You can play the most delicate textures. Ah, oh, it's been a while since I played this. Okay, so I hope that helps. Remember, and this is a, a universal concept that you don't wanna cut off your weight source and just be playing with the fingers. I remember I kinda did that when I was younger. I was about 17 and I was playing the Winter Wind Etude and I had just seen some pianists that totally kicked my butt in a piano competition and they seemed to play with a lower wrist. So I said, that must be the right way to do it. You know, being young and impressionable, I, I still am pretty impressionable. I still, you know, like to question everything, but they... And I started playing and it felt tight and bad. And once you get back to, it's a very similar technique. Feeling those rotations in the arm, it just, it set me free again. And the same thing applies to this uh, cadenza in the Liszt Liebestrom number three. I hope that helps. I'm going to leave a few links in the description below. One of them is for a free webinar training containing 10 of my favorite tips to help take your playing to that next level. These are tips I use daily in my teaching and in my own practice and performance. Um, I will leave two links for my paid courses if you'd like to go a little deeper than this channel offers into repertoire and exercises. We go through all levels, starting from early beginner all the way through advanced, if you'd like to check those out. And then finally, a link for the kit, uh, basically all the gear that I use to film these videos, as well as some beginner book recommendations, some theory book recommendations, CD recommendations, just all the gear and uh, products that I've seen that um, have really blessed my life and helped me to make these videos. Have a great week. Good luck in your practice sessions.